Hey my queens, today on Foodie Friday, we are going to do the Nashville hot chicken vegan style. This is what it looks like. I know it looks weird, but it mimics chicken, okay? So we're going to cut this hard part off first. And then what we do is we just squeeze because there's like um, a seed in on the inside of it. You just squeeze until you, it, some have seeds, some don't. See like this one right here, it does. That right there is a seed. So we're going to take that out. And instead of throwing away the hard part, all I do is just slice it because we're not going to waste anything. Okay. And here's one more. Same thing. We're going to squeeze. I don't know if this one has one or not. It did. Had a seed, there it is. And just squeeze. And once we chop that up, what we're gonna do is we're going to place it into our boiling uh, pot of, of water with our seasonings. And I'm gonna show you what is gonna be in that seasonings in just a moment. And with that boiling hot water, we are going to add in our not chicken bouillon cubes and all this is vegan all this is vegan so we place uh we're gonna place a cup of water if you have two cans two cans of the oil of the jackfruit you're going to place one and a half cups of water in here but i only did one so i'm gonna do one cup of water then you place this inside and then you let it uh, dissolve in the water while it's dissolving and you cook it, you have it on medium heat. And while it's dissolving, you're going to use two tablespoons of nutritional yeast, uh, one tablespoon of this broth base. It's more like a poultry seasoning, same thing. Then we have our liquid smoke. And we're gonna combine all of that into the boiling, into the hot water. We're gonna bring it to a boil, but not at this moment. We're gonna get all that dissolved in together. Then we're gonna place our jackfruit, our shredded jackfruit inside the pot. Let it cook, let it come to a boil uh, for 10 minutes, let it boil. Then once that 10 minutes is up, you're gonna turn the heat down. And once you, I'm giving y'all all of this, because you know I don't do <laughs> measurements. But I wanna make sure that you're able to make this Nashville hot chicken because it is good. It is so good and I want you to enjoy it. So once you get all that mix, like I said, you're gonna take it down to a medium heat. Once it gets to a medium heat, then you're going to make sure you keep stirring so everything is gonna get absorbed into that jackfruit. Then you're going to wait 10 more minutes then you're gonna turn it down just a little bit more and then you're gonna place the lid on top and let it cook for an additional 10 minutes with the lid on. Once you finish with that 10 minutes, then we're gonna add our arrowroot. This gives it more like a thick 
uh, consistency. You can also use cornstarch, but uh, it is. I didn't have cornstarch, but I had this on hand. Didn't that hurt? <laughs> but anyway, I had this, so I used this instead. And like I said, it gives it like a thick consistency to where your jackfruit is going to stick together uh, once you form it into the shape of uh, a chicken breast. So once it gets cooked, then you, you have this. This will be a table, a teaspoon, a teaspoon of this and a teaspoon of hot water. Mix it just like a little paste consistency. Then you're going to uh, sprinkle it into your um your pot with your jackfruit and all your seasons and just keep stirring and you'll feel you'll see feel you'll see the consistency to where it looks like it's gonna like shape into like a thickness okay so once we do that then I'm gonna show you what's next you're gonna place this uh, you're gonna place it into a bowl and let it cool off because it needs to cool off before you're able to mold it and we are getting ready to mold now it is time to form our chicken breast. Okay. And this is what it looks like, you guys, after it has um, gotten all the ingredients from the water and then uh, the arrowroot has made it thick, okay? So we're gonna just put it here. Chicken breast. Warm it tight. It's a small one, but it's a chicken breast. <laughs> and there you have it. Here's your chicken breast. And after you do this, we're gonna set it into the in the freezer for two hours. Two and a half hours, depending on how cold your refrigerator is. And then after we do that, we're going to fry us up some chicken. Be right back. Okay, now we're back for the ingredients of the dry and the wet ingredients. With the wet, we have an egg replacement, which I'm gonna leave all of that in the bottom of the description. But um, it's vegan as well, and then you add a little bit of lemon juice and your vegan milk, milk of choice, so almond milk or whatever you want to use. So we got that, and then over in the dry, we have flour, we have our chili powder, we have our paprika, we have uh, chili pepper, and then we have, uh, did I say garlic powder? Garlic powder. That's what we got. Okay, so now I'm getting ready to get the chicken out of the freezer and we're going to uh, fry it up. But it's gotta be quick, because this is not chicken. This is chicken, <laughs> so it's gotta be quick. So give me just one moment. <laughs> okay. So here we have it. And this is what it looks like out of the freezer. So now we're getting ready to dip in our batter. Got our flour, our dry, and then our wet. And then we're gonna go back to our dry. you guys to come over here and follow me to the oven so we can start frying. There we go, y'all. Fried chicken. Okay, queens, we're at the final step of our Nashville hot chicken. Okay, so this is the sauce that goes on top of the chicken. And this consists of um, chili pep, <laughs> chili pepper, cayenne pepper, brown sugar, and a little garlic. 
it's going to be at the bottom. Y'all know I am roast beef? Okay. So we're going to go ahead and slap some of this. And it also contains a half. I did a half a cup of the grease that was that the chicken had fried, the chicken had fried in, and you mix that in here to give it this paste-like consistency. Okay. Look, y'all, I'm a cook. <laughs> so we got that. So now I'm finished. I'm finished. I'm getting ready to fix my sandwich. I have a little vegan mayo, and I have some tomatoes. Y'all know I love tomatoes. And then I'm going to, let's go down. Put my chicken right there. Look how pretty it looks. Look at the brownness of the chicken. Y'all know how about buns. If I got thank you for this chicken that I'm about to eat, amen. The seasoning is perfection. Hmm. You see, like, it looks like the chicken. And it's hot. <laughs> I don't do hot. <laughs> I should have said mild. Huh. Okay, we're going to make this really quick because I'm going to get some water. <laughs> but I want to thank you guys. Like, comment, and subscribe. And don't forget to hit that notification bell. And please leave comments below. So I love to, because I love to read them just to see if you give this a try, okay? But I'm gonna take one more bite because it is good, but it's hot, but it's good. Thank you guys for tuning in. And I'm getting ready to go and have my Nashville. Hot chicken.